The Juan Lopez selection number two, one of the eight Cuban Robustos regular production, a 50 ring gauge, 124 millimeter. Is it that Cuban state control Habanos has decided to sideline this brand? To import, who cares? For if you are an ardent cigar smoker, I suggest you give the Juan Lopez selection number two your utmost care and greatest respect. Juan Lopez is one of the lesser known Cuban brands in production, but the selection number two is one of the best robustos, robustos from Cuba we aficionados smoked all year. Unfortunately, it's one of only two regular Vitolas still being produced. The selection number two, our today's Robusto, and the selection number one, a Corona Gordas, a 46 times 143 millimeter. Clearly, Juan Lopez has enough of followers to justify its existence, but as Habano seems to concentrate more on its larger global brands, one cannot help but wonder about the future of this appetizing jewel that bloom with many notes, many flavors, and loads and loads of aromas. Let me say here that in 2019 on Cigar Aficionado, the Juan Lopez Selection Number no. 2 ranked 14th and rated 93. Eli, if you want to mourn and grieve, as you always do on the discontinuates, one discontinuate Juan Lopez, Eli, one, which one would you choose? And please, please be short. Actually, Qasim, there isn't many, but if I have to choose one, which I have never seen nor smoked, frankly, it would be some named Epicures, a rare Vitola of Media Coronas, a 38 ring gauge times 142 millimeter. Why? Oh, yeah. For it reminds me of the Laguito number two. Frankly, I don't know, Eli, where this intensive digging is going to take you one day. Deep. I know. <laughs> anyway, and to give the Juan Lopez its well-deserved credit, one would have to look at its regionals. And for not to waste time, I would pick two. First, the Francia, one of the early regionals from 2006, called in French, Obu, translated in English, Canon Shell, for its form, a Campana, it's a 52140. And the other one is for Francia also, from 2018, called the Punto 55, a Montesco 55 by 130. I would like to interrupt here, Hajj, and add, not to forget the Distinguidos for Almania from 2011. A beautiful Romeo 52 times 162. Why I would like to mention this cigar? For the rumor that escorted the Distinguidos Castle. One, there were two releases for this stick. In 2011, a thousand box times 25 sticks, and the other in 2012, in 600 jars times 25 sticks. But the most intriguing is that for the first time, the ratio of a Cuban blend has been leaked, believe it or not. Three secos, one volado, and one liero. Impressive. And this is why the Juan Lopez number two is very aromatic. Very interesting, Eli, but, but enough story from you now. I'm here simply to have a smoke. Let us cut and light. It's worth to mention it's a box from 2019. A very bold body, hard to squeeze, fairly oily, well-stitched Colorado wrapper, and I remember well a 2016 box passing that came almost Maduro. I hope Hajj to smoke like that box. Cold rope, <clears throat> woody neutral oak with deep far splash of burnt brown sugar with a solid draw, dismissing our early worries of a tight draw. Thanks, God. First few puffs, black tea, Little minty on the palate, fresh wet pine on the nose. First third, identical to the first puffs, Eli, 
its woodiness is mellowing yet still overwhelming thin layers of sweetness with scentish finish. The burn line revealing a thick wrapper, wavy but level, subtle in smoke with concrete ash, ideal for ash holding competition. The second third, a struggling mask sweetness, trying hard to surface, woody flavor deepening. Ah. Last third as per Qasim, a 90 plus combustion, an absence of any clear spices, leatherness is appearing far on the palate, an indication of arrested tobacco or God forbid it, lack of oils. One has to have really clear palate to detect the understated flavors drifting in the far back. More, yet little sugary flavors surfacing. Shall we move to the table, Pastor? Let's move. Yalla. Verdict, moment of truth. Frankly, the cigar I'm smoking today is a shadow of the few boxes I had in 2014 and 2016 purchased in 2018. They were exceptional without undermining the one of today's. The grades, both with Qasim and I, clearly stated a very good construction, excellent burn line and combustion, yet both us graded it less when it came to flavors and overall impressions. Any final thoughts, Hajj? Knowing you scored it, a 90 cigar. Despite the gloomy, sad verdict of Ali, I believe this is easy a daily smoke cigar for me. I will enjoy every stick of this box. I trust this cigar to be a loud tribute to all underlined brands of Habanos. Mm. I encourage to enrich your humidor with a box at least. I hope, Qasim, this is not a paid advertisement. You know better. Oh, with Alaya. <laughs> anyway, sadly, we'll wrap it here and ask you all to follow us on Los Osos YouTube channel.